So you want to be more productive. Let's get into it. Biggest thing that has had a profound impact on how productive I am on a daily basis is without a doubt having a designated work block in the morning. Every single morning, I have a minimum of two hours that's blocked out for just doing my highest leverage task, the most important thing for the day. There's a term called eating the frog, and it basically just means doing the most difficult, hardest thing first thing in the morning. Honestly, in my opinion, this has outclassed every other productivity tip and trick and exercise and app and whatever. Just having a designated period first thing in the morning and devoting the first two hours or more of your mental energy to a meaningful goal. It's the way that I've had the most improvement and growth over the last year or two. Just some tips regarding this. You want to, over time, this might be difficult to begin with, but over time you want to shorten the amount of time between when you wake up and when you're at your desk working. You want that time to get smaller and smaller. Too often people get sucked into, I've been a victim of this, too often we get sucked into having these long elaborate morning routines where you you wake up and you, you do your journaling, you do your meditation, you do your affirmations, you do your cold shower, you go for your 10 minute like. Before you know it, you just wasted your whole morning and had no real progress towards a meaningful goal. Sure, those things are good habits, but ideally you want to save those for maybe in the afternoon or later in the day. Leave the morning to do your highest leverage work task and nothing else. You stay laser focused on the one thing for the whole block. That is the way you make exponential progress towards any goal. Another side effect of consistently doing this over and over, you begin to build up the ability to stay focused on a single task. When I first started trying to do these work blocks, I was a mess. I'd get up and I'd go to the bathroom, I'd get another coffee, I'd do all random things that just every time I did them, it took my mind off the task that I was trying to do. So that's one thing, eliminate the amount of time between waking up and getting to work. There was, um, I can't remember exactly who said it. I think his name's Ryan. I might put his, I'll put his channel here, but he outlined why it can be really beneficial to get to work within 90 seconds of waking up. He explained something along the lines of the, the brain waves or the state that your brain is in when in sleep is actually fairly similar to when it's in a flow state, when you're deep in work. So by doing a quick transition between sleep and work, you kind of allow your body to fluidly shift from one state to another. But yeah, so reduce the amount of time between waking up and working. Another thing is have a very minimalistic and simple work environment. You don't want lots of things clouding your environment. I often, even now, struggle with this, just having a messy workspace, but it definitely helps when you've got a clean work environment, whether that's your desk or your actual computer or like the actual desktop on your computer. Having those things clean and organized will just further help streamline the process and get you into a flow state quicker. The next thing that will massively boost your productivity, which also kind of ties into having a focused work block, is disabling notifications on your phone. Yes, this is a very difficult thing to do. You'll have lots of limiting beliefs and reasons why, no, this doesn't apply to me. I can't do this. I need my notifications on. I need to make sure I am always up to date with this one thing. Really, it's It's all bullshit. You don't really need it. The world won't end if you don't reply to your messages within 30 seconds. I, for the last probably six months, have more or less had my phone on Do Not Disturb. There's been a few isolated occasions where it's kind of been inconvenient because I haven't seen a message right when it was sent to me or whatever it might be. But realistically, the amount of 
time and focus that I've saved by not getting random notifications pop up on my phone, it's been invaluable. And I don't think I could ever go back to a situation where, you know, every few minutes you're getting some random notification from a from whatever app. It's just it constantly zaps your attention. There was actually a study done, I can't remember where or by who or what, but it was found that someone who is high, literally high, was more productive than someone who was checking their phone and getting notifications. That just shows the detrimental impact of getting random notifications on your phone. So turn them off, put your phone away, get it out of your space, especially when you're working. I'm not saying you can never check your notifications, but if you put it on do not disturb, it means they don't randomly pop up on your phone. And when you have a free space that you can just look through your notifications, then you can check through them all, but they're not interrupting you when you're trying to work. The third thing that I've found to be extremely useful with boosting my productivity is simply by doing less things, having less things on the to-do list, having less less things you need to take care of. This comes back down to minimalism and being like an essentialist. Having only one or two main tasks or objectives that you're trying to do on a regular basis it means you're much more productive because you're doing less task switching. You're not as worried about as many things. You're more laser focused on just a few tasks and goals. It might not seem like this will have any impact on your productivity, but it does actually make a pretty huge difference. It clears up all the mental clutter of thinking, oh, I've got all these other things to do, I need to do that, I need to do this, I've got this long to-do list. By trying to distill all that down into the most important couple things that have the most leverage on your goals, it's definitely been a game changer for me by doing less of most things, but doing more of a few crucial things. There's just a couple productivity tips that I have for you. Hope that you can implement them in your life And I'll see you in the next video.